Now from the windy city of Chicago, there's a beautiful look at fabled Wrigley Field. Tonight, we wrap up this three-game series between the San Diego Padres and the Chicago Cubs. Cubs baseball starts right now. Jason Hamill, a hurler from South Carolina, will be the starting pitcher in this one. Eric, any thoughts? Well, guys, his batting average against this year is under 250. He's really had his way with the offense. John Jay heads for the batter's box, and we are just about ready for some evening baseball. Fielder number 24, John Jay. Underway right at 7.05 as the first pitch of the night is swung on and missed for strike one. E.K., as we look at the Cubs entering play here tonight, they've got to be considered the hottest team in baseball right now as they come in winners of nine of their last ten ball games. And it's been a good series for them so far here, too. They've been able to take the first two games, and now they're set up in good shape to make it a clean sweep. Hamill gets the sign. 0-2 pitch on its way. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. And here's a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting San Diego Padres. Steve, how do they bounce back and avoid the dreaded sweep? Well, I think just putting this guy into the stretch early and often. Look to get the leadoff hitter on base to give themselves the best opportunity to score runs throughout the game. Alexi Ramirez will make his way in now as you get a look at his splits there on your screen. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. The rain, as we've mentioned, coming down fairly steadily here at game time. EK, how'd you like playing in the rain? It wasn't that bad. The only problem, sometimes up at the plate, batting gloves would get wet while it was raining. Grounded back up the middle. Backhanded. Throw gets him. Two down. And with that, let's take a look at the Cubs' alignment on defense. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Well, Matty, Anthony Rizzo is really the centerpiece for this Cubs ball club offensively we know what he does defensively he really holds this infield together very fluid over at first base good soft hands and has a good throwing arm as well here comes the first pitch Brett Wallace is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike and there are the umpires assigned to this one calling balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon well, Matt, I think Dixon has sometimes been thought of as a hitter's umpire. But the book on him is that he can be a little bit tight on the edges of the strike zone. We'll see if that's the case. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. And now it'll be the Cubs' turn in a scoreless ball game. Robbie Erlin, the southpaw out of the Golden State, gets the call here. What do you have for us on him, EK? Well, guys, you take a look at that ERA. He has not been good this year. Got to throw a lot better. and Hopefully he can start doing that in this one. Chris Bryant comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Cubs. Third baseman, Chris Bryant. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 1. A 
Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Here it comes, 0-2. Mine to the right side. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first down. And now time to check how Joe Madden has lined the Cubbies up in this one. Steve, what do they need to do to complete the sweep? Well, this team runs pretty well. They drive the ball into the gap pretty well. And as long as they keep avoiding the double play ball and let the game come to them and just drive in runs when they get the opportunities, they're going to be just fine. Dexter Fowler will stand in for the first time with gaudy numbers here in the month as you see him there. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Bases are empty, one man out. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. And he will get there with the first hit of the ball game, a one-out double. With a guy like this, once that ball gets into the alley out there in right center, you can bet he's going to be thinking three so that's a good job to get it in quickly and hold him to just a double Anthony Rizzo will stand in here with a chance to pad his RBI total and as you can see he currently sits third in the National League in that category yeah and you guys know he's definitely been one of the best run producers in the sport over the last several weeks I'm sure his guys are hoping that he can keep it up all the way into the fall First pitch of the at-bat on its way. That's yanked into the stand. Strike one. The 0-1. Hit high and deep to right center. Back goes Upton Jr. at the track. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. Oh, an early strike here in the opening inning as they get that first run on the board with back-to-back -back doubles. No question, they'd love to push this out to a two-run lead or maybe even more. So with another dangerous hitter coming up, they've got an opportunity to do just that. Kyle Schwarber will stand in now. Certainly a dangerous hitter as he ranks number two in the National League in home runs. Boy, this guy's having a big year putting up the power numbers certainly going to help him out when it comes to negotiating that new contract at the end of the year. Hit hard towards the hole. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Wow, and a rocky start on the road here, guys. Three straight hits surrendered, and he hasn't gotten out of the first inning yet. So Jorge Soler will stand in and look at that average up over 370 to start the ball game. Well, he's been hitting really well over his last 10 games or so, and he's someone to watch out for in this one. Out in front of it, strike one. Hit hard up the middle. And that is through into center field. The base hit. The cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's a 2-0 ball game. And they are just teeing off on him right now. And even in just the first inning, you've got to wonder how much longer they'll let him continue out there. Addison Russell will stand in couple of hits in that ball game last night well this guy's hitting over 300 on the year now and he had a good performance yesterday as well he's set here it comes hit hard down the line toward the coaching box it's a foul ball runners are at first and second with one away now a sharply hit ball back up the middle and that's in there base hit Around third and being waved on home. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 3-0 game. 
And he's able to get back in there at first safely. Do you think he was looking for a fastball there? I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see, and he was right on that one. Javier Baez will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop-up in a big way. First pitch of the at-bat. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Upton racing back, and this one is gone. A home run. So a three-run blast to deep center here. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. This is just a fastball right here, but I'm pretty sure it's not where he wanted it. This has got some elevation to it, and that's one of those where you know it's going to be a home run as soon as you let go of it. An entertaining game all in all, so if we have to choose one who stood out among all others, why not go with this man right here? He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, just a great all-around game for him here. You'll see on the line score, four hits, including that big home run. Uh, you'd have to say he was instrumental in leading these guys to the victory. winning pitcher is Jason Hamill. His record is now 7 and 0.
TGIF, and welcome to Inside the Show. Starting in the AL West, Cole Calhoun plated five on the day with two big flies, leading the Angels over the Cardinals, 10. The Milwaukee Brewers knocked out 10 hits as a team as they bested the vi-